So here is part three of uh, the practice session on Kapustin Stokotina measure 10. So here it is, uh, the first measure you see there. All right, and I really want to get it as perfect as possible. And there are all kinds of little issues that I'm not happy about. So here is my practice. I start at the very end. And then once I've established I'm doing it correctly, I don't need to do anything but hold this chord basically. Yeah. I'll probably be changing my pedal with it, so that kind of thing. Alright, before that I have this note G in the left hand and I'm holding down the right hand chord like this. And my torso is on B4, which is this note. So I'm coming out of holding that F and I'm now G, C is covered with finger five. So that was a problem, right? I needed to move from this chord to this chord. And if I do it with pedal, like that okay so that's the connection there now I'm going to well I've already done that I'm, I was holding both things I just forgot to move that cover properly now we will do this so let's hold that F holding it down I'm ready to play the G, I'm not quite ready to play the C, so I have to work on that. So if I'm holding the pedal down, right, that's what happens. All right, very good. Now let's start from here. And just to review, I have that vertical arrow, which means I have to play my right hand like this inside the keys. Okay, well I'm already much happier with how this is sounding without much work as compared to the previous time. So that's fine. My current dynamic level is mezzo forte here. And if I do it with the pedal, I actually don't like the pedal here. Why am I even trying to use it? it has to be a crisp, non-pedaled passage, so forget the pedal. Makes things much easier. All right, very good. So keep moving back. So far, so good. I'm not actually upset about anything so far. So now I'm going to work on holding down those half covered up chords while maintaining my... This is where I'm probably going to move towards B4, so let's see. Let's use another arrow symbol here. And just indicating that, hey, you know, if you're in the center, wherever I'm playing before that. Um... Anyway, something up, up there that I forgot. Oh. You know what? I think I want to be on B4 or, as you can actually see there, half covered up, A4 by this point. So forget that arrow. I'm going to just remind myself that, you know what, right here, hmm, that was not the right way to do it, clearly. All right, how about the, the finger? Yeah, finger works better. So, this one, I'm going to, forget how this works, I think my, keyboard disconnected here. So A4, just 
put my torso there right away no movement that's great so where was I yes right here <coughs> So is on this A, my hands are holding those half covered up chords, notes, and I'm about to do the rest of it. And this is where it becomes a problem. So this move, once I had introduced the need to move here in my right hand, it put a wrench into everything else. Because I couldn't find this chord perfectly, there was a cascade of um, trouble uh, in my right hand, and uh, I couldn't play the rest of it. But I know now exactly where this problem is by doing this kind of careful backstepping approach. I now know I need to do nothing but this. Practice this way. Therefore, my newly found uh, let's say you found segments to practice would be this. I would even say before this because as long as I'm in position, I'll be fine. So that's that's where I need to be ready, and that's the the move I have to practice. So in my left hand, by the way, if you look at this, right, that's what I have to do. Extend my second finger down to G. All right, so let's go from here. Don't, don't even play this, okay? just, just do this. So I'm only practicing the position jump to make sure that from there I can do the rest of it because now I am in position as opposed to, uh, you know, that kind of weird position shift. Right, so don't play it. Make sure to always, always stop where you decide to stop, not where you fail. <laughs> This makes sure that I'm practicing just the thing that's the problem. Good. Stepping back a little more. Mm. That was better. So I'm holding these chords that are half covered up and I'm continuing when I'm ready. And I need to hear ta ta ta. Rhythm between the hands. And I need to hold the D longer. So it's an actual syncopation. Yeah. All right, good. So now, since I've clearly identified where my problem is with this careful practice, I could try to extend my goal a little beyond, right? So, in other words, now I'll definitely try to play it. Suspend my hand, ready to strike. Okay, so once I've discovered I can do that, let's do this. Mm. Right, so I'm kind of freezing right after that final goal chord on B3. And now let's introduce this, holding the D. And I'm about to do my leap. Better. Okay, so at least I've patched over into that next half of the measure, allowing me to, you know, hopefully master it by next time. But, you know, in, in any case, the, the important part is, yes, when I started, I had all kinds of issues at the end. Now I seem to have figured them out. I figured out some new issues. I'm going to put it all together eventually, but 
again, it's important to do it in short increments and sleep in between. So you can probably even speed things up if you are able to sleep during the day. I, I'm not one of those people, but uh, if you are, you can try it out.